Magnify the name of the Lord once again this morning. Give God praise. Give Him glory from the depth of your heart. Celebrate Him for bringing you into this new session. Not of Him that will it, not of Him that run it, but of God that showed mercy. For the mercies of the Lord that you have enjoyed till date. Give Him all the praise. Magnify His name. Lord, we bless your name. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. In Jesus' glorious name, we have prayed. Our winners, do we have winners in the house? The shouting part is the winning part. The shouting side is the winning side. The shouting side is the winning side. Glory be to God. There shall be no loss in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I said no loss in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. But just like the scripture enjoins us, it said, commit your ways into the hand of the Lord. And it will make it through for you and make it through with you. That shall be your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. That is why we are going to pray before we sit this morning. Exodus chapter 4 and verse 17. Exodus chapter 4 and verse 17. He said, you will take this rod in your hand. He said, with, we are with, thou shalt do what? What will you do with it? And the scripture makes, it to, makes us to understand. It said, I and the children that the Lord has given unto me, we are for what? You will manifest signs and wonders this season and beyond in the name of Jesus Christ. It said, thou shalt take this rod in your hand and with it you will do signs. There is always something in our hand to establish our breakthrough. And that is why the devil is trying every way to take that thing from your hand. But the devil will not succeed in the name of Jesus Christ. I said he will not succeed in the name of Jesus Christ. Matthew chapter 10 and verse 1. He said, and he gave them power. He released something into their hand. And he gave them power against unclean spirit to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. That is why I know by the road God is committing into your hand this session. No sickness will survive around you in the name of Jesus Christ. If somebody can hear me, let your amen show it right now. No disease will survive around you in the name of Jesus Christ. There is something in your hand. And the devil is contesting with that thing. But the devil will not succeed in the name of Jesus Christ. Second Kings chapter 6 and verses 15 and 16. That is going to be our anchor scripture to pray this morning. Second Kings chapter 6 verses 15 first. Or oh, verse 1. Let's start from verse 1. It says, And the sons of the prophet said unto Elisha, Behold, the place where we dwell with thee is too straight for us. That is, that place is too tiny. The level you are now is not your final level. The place we are in you are now is not your final bus stop. And that is why God will be placing something in your hand to break through this season in the name of Jesus Christ. And in verse 5 of that same scripture, Verse 5, something was in their hand, but as one of them was falling a beam, what was placed in their hand, the axe head fell into the water. Your weapon of breakthrough will not fall off in the name of Jesus Christ. The devil knows that the axe head is needed to break through. He removed the axe head and remained just the stick. Stick will not cause stick. Stick will not cause the he left the stick in their hand and remove the axe head. We we are we they are going to do signs and wonders, and that is why you are going to pray this prayer this morning. You will be saying with me, Father, in the name of Jesus, my breakthrough weapon will not fall off my hand this season. 
my breakthrough weapon will not fall off my hand. This is it. Is somebody ready to pray that prayer right now? Go ahead and let's pray that prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, my breakthrough weapon shall not fall off my hand. This is it. Go ahead and pray that prayer for yourself. You are praying for yourself. I am praying for myself. Father, in the name of Jesus, my breakthrough weapon will not fall off my hand this season and beyond. Pray that prayer with all intentionality this morning. Pray that prayer. God has placed something in your hand through which you are going to do signs and wonders. He said your adversary, the devil, is looking for who to distract. He's looking for who to devour. He's looking for who to derail. Lord, I will not be a victim of the devil this season. My breakthrough weapon will not fall off my hand. Somebody pray that prayer right now. Somebody pray that prayer. My breakthrough weapon, the weapon you have placed into my hand to do the signs, to do the wonders. No devil will take it away from my hand. In the name of Jesus Christ, no devil will take it away from my hand. In the name of Jesus Christ, my breakthrough weapon will not fall off my hand this season and beyond. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I have come to identify with you, even in this first chapel service of this session, Lord, my breakthrough weapon shall not fall off my hand. In the name of Jesus Christ, my breakthrough weapon shall not fall off my hand. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Holy Spirit of God. In Jesus' glorious name, we have prayed. Through that breakthrough weapon that Lord has placed in your hand, with your ordinary hand, you will do extraordinary things in the name of Jesus Christ. If somebody can hear me, let your amen show it right now. If somebody can hear me, let your amen show it right now. The axe head fell into the water and went down straight to the bottom of the water. But something happened. Verse 6 of that same scripture. It says, And the man of God said, We have fell it, and he shewed him the place. And he cut down a stick, and cast it in thither, and the iron did swim. And the iron did what? Swim. And the iron did swim. You are going to, going to pray this prayer. The Father in the name of Jesus. Every of my breakthrough testimony that I might have been lost in the time past is restored this season. Every of my breakthrough testimony that might have been lost in the time past is restored. It's a God of restoration. Nothing can get lost in the hand of the Lord. Go ahead and pray that prayer for yourself right now. Every of my breakthrough testimony that might have been lost in the time past. Lord, restore, 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 Lord. Restore, Lord. Restore, Lord. Restore, Lord. Restore, Lord. I decree my season of restoration. I decree my season of restoration. I decree my season of restoration. Whatever the devil might have taken away, he said the thief come about to steal, to kill, and to destroy. He said, but I have come to give you life, and life abundantly. Whatever might but every of my breakthrough testimony that might have been lost in the time past, Lord is restored this season. Go ahead, pray that prayer for yourself. It's restored this season. In the name of Jesus Christ, I will not be a mockery to the kingdom. I will not be a byword to the kingdom. My results shall be glory for all eyes to see. In the name of Jesus Christ, my results shall be glory for everyone to see. I will manifest the glory of the Lord. Even in this new session, God has given me a new opportunity to show forth his glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, I will manifest. I will manifest the glory of God. Everything that might have been lost is restored right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. It is done. I say it is done. 
I say it is done. He says, I will overturn, overturn, overturn it. Whatever the devil might have taken away, stolen from your life, it's restored this season in the name of Jesus. Christ. I say it is restored this season in the name of Jesus. Christ. He said, the thief come about to steal, to kill, and to destroy. He said, but I have come to give you life and to give you more abundantly. That will be your testimony this season in the name of Jesus. Christ. Abundance of every good thing shall be delivered into your life in the name of Jesus. Christ. Before you recover from one testimony, another is established for you in the name of Jesus. Christ. If somebody can hear me, let your amen show it right now. If somebody can hear me, let your amen show it right now. It is done. In Jesus' glorious name, we have prayed. With smile on your face, put your hands together for Jesus Christ and help me to welcome your neighbor left and right before the Lord this morning. And please get seated. You are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. I say you are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. I missed you all. Amen. It's, it's good to be back in the chapel. It's good to be back in the chapel where great things are happening. You know, when you connect, you collect in chapel. Amen. You are connecting now and you are collecting from him in the name of Jesus Christ. No one will return empty-handed in the name of Jesus Christ. I said no one will return empty-handed in the name of Jesus Christ. On the behalf of Jesus Christ, the founder and the founder of this institution, I want to say you are all welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. And on the, on the behalf of our father, the chancellor, Dr. David Oedepo, we are all welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to appreciate God's servant for this platform to bring the word of the Lord unto us this day. And I know the word that is coming your way will never leave you the same in the name of Jesus Christ. I said it will not leave you the same in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to appreciate our vice chancellor and say this morning you are welcome, sir, in the name of Jesus Christ. The acting registrar, you are all welcome, in the, you are welcome, sir, in the name of Jesus Christ. All our principal officers seated, you are all welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. All the faculty here this morning, you are all welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. The non-teaching staff in the house this morning, I want to appreciate you and recognize you. You are all welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. The... Postgraduate students seated this morning, you are all welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. And the kings and queens in the house this morning, put your hands together for Jesus for yourself. You are all looking king kingious and queen quincious. Amen. You know, we have the kings and queens. So you look king kingious and queen quincious. Amen. You are all welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of God. We do great and mighty things in your life and in our life together in the name of Jesus Christ. We are starting on this platform this morning and in this new session because we need to get it right as we move on into the new session. And we'll be looking at the teaching focus on veiling the wonders of spiritual understanding of the world. Unveiling the wonders of spiritual understanding of the world. There are three scriptures, among others, that really validate the testimonies in the life of every believer that obeys God's instruction. Note that word, every believer that obeys that tells you that not all believers obey. Every believer that we care to obey, testimonies are bound in their life. Remember that scripture in the book of Matthew chapter 21 and from verse 28 to 30. That parable that Jesus told them, it depicts us, uh, it depicts believers. He said, but what think ye? A certain man had two sons. Everyone that believed they are children of the Lord. John 1, 12. He said, as many that receive him, to them he giveth power to become sons of the Lord. 
everyone that believes. He said, this, two, this man has two sons. And he told the first one, go to my vineyard to work. And he said, verse 29, I will not. But afterward, he repented and went. Verse 30, and he came to the second and said, likewise. And he answered and said, I go, sir. I go, sir. I service. See me. He said, I go, sir. But he went not. And verse 31, he says, Whether of them twine did the will of his father, and they said unto him, the first. That tells you that it's not every believer that obeys instruction. But everyone that we care to obey, testimonies will abound. Malachi chapter 3 and verse 17. I said it shall come to pass. In that day. And they shall be mine, says the Lord of hosts, in that day, when I make it my jewel, and I will spare them as a man spared his own son that served him. So it's not every son that served. I will only spare the one that care to serve. Said, and I will distinguish the one that serveth and the one that serveth not. Testimonies abound in the life of everyone that will care to obey his instructions. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1, the number one scripture said, And it shall come to pass if you will diligently hearken. Unto the voice of the Lord your God to observe and to do all his commandments. It's not enough to hear. It's good to hear. It's good to listen. But better to hear and to observe and to do all his commandments which I commanded this day. He said that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. That is, if you will care to obey my instruction, the topmost top is your position. If you will care to obey my instruction, the topmost top is your position. Lift up your hand and do like this. Lift up your hand and do like this. Is anything stopping your hand? That tells you that the top is free. The top is what? You can assess it. He said, you have gone around this mountain long enough. It is time to move forward. It is time to go higher. You are not to be on probation for life. You are to be in distinction. You are not created to be in, on probation. You are created to be in distinction. And that is on the bedrock of obedience to his instruction. Getting the word of the Lord, holding onto it, and abiding by it. He said, I will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. I don't believe there is any student here that we hate people calling you a first class student. Anyone hates to be called a first class student? No. I will set thee on high. You are bound to be the head and not the tail. He said, you will be above only and not beneath. That will be your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. And the good news is this. Every time God brings us into a new session like this, is a proof and a privilege for a new beginning. Whatever might have gone wrong in the time past, he said, forget the past, move forward. He's giving you another privilege to better the good of last session. And that will be your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8, the second scripture. Joshua chapter 1 
and verse 8. It says, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. He said, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do if you will obey according to everything that is written therein. He said, for then that thou sh shalt make thy way prosperous, and then, not until then, and then thou shalt have what? Good success. That will be your testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. Thou shalt have good success if you will care to obey his commandment. And just like I told us during the welcome assembly, only when you follow order, others will follow you. When you follow order, others will follow you. That is, it will make you a rallying point. It will make you a leader when you follow order. When you follow his instruction, he takes away every frustration and destruction out of your way. He will set thee on earth. Said then you will make your way prosperous and then you will have good success. That will be your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone desires success. Apology for, I forgot to recognize everyone celebrating their birthday this month. You are celebrating your birthday this month. Let me see your hand up. You are celebrating your birthday in the month of September. Let me see your hand up. God bless you. It shall be a glorious year for you in the name of Jesus Christ. You are moving from one level of glory to another in the name of Jesus Christ. You will deliver glorious testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. The number nine signifies the month of birth. Nine, every woman deliver at the ninth month. You will deliver good testimony this ninth month in the name of Jesus Christ. You are blessed in Jesus' name. When people are celebrating their birthday, what do you wish them? Long life and what? Do, we, do you wish them failure? So success is the will of everyone. It's the wish of everyone. He said, then it will make your way prosperous and then you shall have good success. That will be your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. The third scripture, 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 3. 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 3. He said, according as his divine power had given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness. How? Through the knowledge of the word. Him is the word. John 1, 1. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. The word was God. Through the knowledge of the word. So when you have the word, you gain access to every good thing of life. That will be your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. That is why you must crave for the understanding of the word. Because the word of God is for our profiting. The word of God is for our profiting. Second Timothy chapter 3 and verses 16 and 17. Is for our profiting. All scripture is given by the inspiration of God and is profitable for your doctrine to tell you what to do, for reproof to correct you, for correction, for instruction to direct you in the right path, in righteousness. All scripture. Is for your profitability. And that is why you must embrace the word of God with the whole of your heart. Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 12. Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 12. It says, for the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joint and marrow, and is a discerner of the thought and intent of the heart. That tells you the power in the word of God. 
The word of God is for your profitability. But we can only draw the profiting of the word through spiritual understanding. That is revelation. The word of God, the profitings of the word can only be assessed through spiritual understanding. He said, the word that I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. You can't use the knowledge of chemistry and biology to treat the word of God. It can only be assessed, the profiting can only be assessed through spiritual understanding. You saw that politician in the book of Acts chapter 8 from verse 26 to 35. We call him the Ethiopian Enoch. He was reading the scripture. He was, he was the Ethiopian treasurer, the minister, uh, the minister for finance. Amen. He was reading the same scripture. And Philip, the, by the spirit of the Lord, got near to him and asked him, understand that what you are reading? <laughs> he said, how will I understand? Except some man should guide me. We need the guidance of the Holy Spirit. He said, when the Spirit of the Lord will come, He will teach you all things. He will guide you in all your ways. He is our helper. He is our guidance. He said, we, know, we don't even know how to pray. He said, but the Holy Spirit is the one interceding for us with a groaning that cannot be explained. It takes the power of the Spirit of God to gain access and a better understanding to the Word of God. And the, 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 the beauty of it is this. When it is revealed to you, you can't doubt what you see. You can't doubt what you see. He said to Abraham, Genesis chapter 13 and verses 13 and 14. He says, from where you are, look northward, southward. He said, westward and eastward. He said, everything that you have seen, for the land which thou seest, to thee will I give it and to thy seed forever. Look from where you are. Many are struggling, looking for greener pasture abroad. It's in broad. It's not in abroad. It's in broad. From where you are. Just like our father, with a, a lizard in Nigeria will not get to UK to become a crocodile. Their structure may look alike, but their power is different. And numerously, I've said this oftentimes, there are many in UK that are not okay. And there are many in U.S. that are useless. Not everybody in U.K. are okay. There are still many, some that are still writing to Nigeria, send money to me. Living inside Gotha. They may tell you all manner of packages. Hell, go by caregiver, go by academic, go by this, go, you want to jackpa. All manner. Only those that go by the instruction of God will be relieved from frustration of the land. It's not about the place, it's about the man. As a man thinketh in his heart. So you are already thinking failure in Nigeria, you can't get there to become success. As a man thinketh in his heart. What makes a lot of people to jack up from Nigeria is thought of failure. But glory be to God, many of them are there and we are enjoying the dollar here. That is a testimony for you. Many dollars sent by the grace of God. I don't need to go there to spend dollar. Because I'm not dull. Amen. 
The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. I said, the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. You just need spiritual understanding. There are riches in this world. The word of God is settled forever. Only the settled word can settle your life. Forever, O oh Lord, thy word is settled. Settle with the word. Your destiny will be settled. Many are junketing around, running up and down. This and that. They, wake, they sleep tired. They wake up tired. Sleeping that's supposed to be a refreshing. They still wake up tired. All manner of dreams. They have run to and fro in the dream. As they are jumping from one tree, an elephant is coming on them. Masquerade is chasing them in the dream. By the time they wake up, they are sweating again. Sleep tired. Wake up tired. Say, commit your way into the hand of the Lord. Let God direct you. You, be, you become a director on the earth. I was sharing with the Wobby student a few days ago. I said, if you can kneel before God all night, you will stand above men all day. If you can kneel before God all night, you will stand above men all day. Access to divine revelation is the maker of destiny. And that is why the devil is looking for every way to block your access to the world. You can stand, stay on social media from jumping from Instagram to Facebook instead of you to face the book. Jumping from Facebook to which other one? Uh, you know them. You tweet, 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 tweet. You are tweet, 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 tweet. Amen. Stay with the book. Face the book. Face the book. I pray that Lord will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. And that is why we need to pray for spiritual understanding. Paul prayed that prayer. Colossians chapter 1 and verse 18. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may behold glorious things out of thy glory. Open my eyes. When your eyes is open to those glorious things of the law, destiny, and the journey of life becomes stressless. Stress-free. And the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. That is why every believer must learn what it takes to assess the profit in the world. Everyone, you must learn what it takes to assess the profit in the world. And what are the ways for you to assess the profitings of the world? Number one, meekness. Meekness. Psalm chapter 25 and verse 9. It said, the meek will he guide in judgment. And the meek will he teach his way. When you are too full to receive instruction from God, you end us as a big fool in life. When you are full of yourself, when you are too full of yourself to receive instruction from God, even when you carry the Bible, you select the path you want to follow. God, I don't agree with you here. Come, let us reason together. When they wrote this one, the word is not as uh, sophisticated as this. Let me teach you what is in vogue now, God. God, uh, thank you. When you become too full of yourself to be directed by God, you end up as a big fool in the world. Verse 12 of that same scripture. Verse 12, Psalm chapter 25. He said, what is man that, what man is he that feared the Lord? Him shall he teach. In the way that he shall shoot. God is the one that will choose it for you. He knows the way better than you are. He has been here before your arrival. He knows the end. Even right from the beginning. He's been here before you, you came. For you to be able to assess that glorious destiny. Then be ready to learn from him. 
How much you learn from him will demand how much you earn by him. Be meek. Remember the man called Paul. Said, I am the least. He humbled himself. Paul, a great man of revelation. 1 Corinthians chapter 5, chapter 15, verses 9 and 10. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 9 and 10. He said, for I am the least of the apostles. That I am not even me to be called an apostle because I persecuted the church. No self-justification. He said, but by the grace of God, I am what I am. It's only the grace of God that can deliver you from the disgrace of the world. Embrace his grace. Submit yourself under the great hand of the Lord. There is nothing you can be in life without him. There is nothing you can imagine to become without him. I am what I am, not by my expertise. Not because I know how to do it. Not because of my cramming. I got that five point not because I could read. But by the grace of God. The grace of God is what delivers us from disgrace of life. Meekness. Attitude of God, I don't know it, teach me. Say, so he that thought he know everything, he said, let him know that he knows nothing. He knows nothing. Be meek under the great hand of the Lord. The man Moses, the meekest, Numbers chapter 12 and verse 3, he became the greatest. Exodus chapter 11, verse 3. So now the man Moses was very meek above all the men which were upon the face of the earth. And Exodus chapter 11 verse 3, it says, And the man Moses was very great in the land of Egypt. The meekest became the greatest. He gained access to the revelation of God. God was dealing with him. He, he was able to give the account of the creation. He was not there. Even if he was the Adam, Adam came last. Adam never knew when the, when the sun was created. He never knew when the fishes were created. He was not there when the creation happened. But God, that anyone that will be meek, that is the one that will go to the peak. Anyone that will be meek will get to the peak. Only those that will be meek, we assess the peak. Meekness. Those are the ones that can gain access to the revelation of the Lord. Those are the ones that will gain access to the instructions of the Lord. A wise man once said, he said, there is no mountain anywhere. Every man's ignorance is their mountain. You are where you are because of what you know. You can be where he wants you to, know, to, to be if you can crave to know more. And the number two access to gain access to revelation is crave access to the word in any area of interest. Crave access. That's the talk about meekness. Make inquiry. Only those that make inquiry get discoveries. Cheapest way to assess revelation is inquiry. Ask, and you shall be given. Seek, you will find. Knock, the door will be opened unto you. Make inquiry. Ask from the Lord. He is the source of everything. Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 1. And also, engage the Holy Spirit in your search. Engage the Holy Spirit. You can't do it alone. By strength shall no man prevail. Engage the Holy Spirit in your search. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 9 to 10. And when you have found it, give yourself wholly to it. Be addicted to your revelation. 
Just like the chancellor always say, I am the one that saw it. You are not in my eyes. When I see what I saw, I know. Get addicted to whatever that is being revealed to you. And when it is revealed to you, it will reveal you to your world. Rise to your feet. Lift up your hands to heaven and celebrate Jesus once again this morning. Thank God for the word he has released in you, into your direction. And grace to abide by that word. Lord, I receive. Go ahead and pray that prayer right now. Lord, I receive grace. I receive grace. I receive grace to abide by your word. I receive grace. I receive grace, Lord. I receive grace, Jesus, to abide by your word. This word will bring about profitance into my life. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. In Jesus' glorious name, we have prayed.